The electric vehicle revolution is gaining serious momentum, but for many, the high cost of a brand new EV remains a major hurdle. Turns out, a lot of people would be interested in driving EVs if there was a way to transform their trusty gas guzzler into an eco-friendly machine without breaking the bank. And this can now be done thanks to an amazing new invention. An Australian design student has created a solution that could be a game changer. This isn't some pie-in-the-sky concept either. We're talking about a practical technology that could put the power of electric driving within reach of millions. So, how exactly does this miniature marvel work, and what impact could it have on the widespread adoption of EVs? Join us as we discuss how this tiny electric motor can convert IC vehicles to EVs at low cost. Very soon, there won't be a need to trade in your old car for a shiny new electric one, because you'd be able to transform your trusty gas guzzler into a hybrid for a fraction of the price. That's the crazy but potentially brilliant idea an Australian design student just brought to life. Not a half-baked concept stuck on a drawing board either. We're talking about a real workable retrofit that could put the power of electric driving in the hands of millions without the million-dollar price tag. Alexander Burton, a design whiz from RMIT University, just snagged a prestigious award for his invention, the RAV, Rapid Electric Vehicle, Retrofit System. Here's the mind-blowing part. Burton claims his design allows you to basically bolt it on in a single day. No need for weeks at the shop, just a quick visit, and your car is ready to rock a hybrid life. The price tag, potentially as low as $3,200 if everything goes according to plan. That's a far cry from the eye-watering costs of a brand new electric vehicle. Now, you might be thinking this sounds too good to be true, and you wouldn't be wrong to be skeptical. The need for this kind of invention is clear. The auto industry is slowly shifting towards electric, but there's a giant elephant in the room. All those gas-powered cars on the road aren't disappearing overnight. The secret sauce behind RAV's magic lies in its motor design. Imagine a pancake. That's basically what the motor looks like. It's called an axial flux motor, and it's anything but your average engine. This flat plate shaped wonder bolts right onto your car's wheel hub with another flat plate spinning inside it to generate torque. That's the twisty force that gets your wheels moving. The cool thing is, this motor is designed to be super easy to install. Each car model will need a special adapter plate, but Burton says it won't be anything crazy complicated. Think of it like a custom phone case for your engine. And for the actual motor installation, Burton claims it can be done in a breeze. Just 10 minutes and you're good to go. Now, where do you put all the other electric bits and bobs? Well, Burton has a plan for that too. Remember that spare tire taking up space in your trunk? Say goodbye. The RAV system would use that spot for a battery pack and motor controllers. It's kind of like a swap-out situation. Your spare tire goes bye-bye, and in its place comes the heart of your new electric drive experience. Although Burton says the choice is ultimately yours. If you can't imagine a life without a spare tire, you can keep it. This battery pack might not be giant, but it packs a punch. Burton estimates it can hold around 15 kWh of juice, which translates to roughly 62 miles of pure electric driving in stop-and-go city traffic, thanks to regenerative braking, that fancy feature that captures energy when you slow down. You can stretch that range even further. So, for most people's daily commutes, this battery should be plenty. The real beauty of RAV is that it doesn't mess with your car too much. You can still use your old gas engine if you need to, or you can switch to electric mode with the flick of a switch. It's all about giving you the flexibility to choose how you want to drive depending on the situation. So, what happens when you're cruising in electric mode and your car needs some juice for the regular 12V stuff, like headlights and the radio? No worries. No, or maybe even a little electric boost to help them work smoothly. It's like giving your car a double shot of electric power whenever it needs it. One question Bird is still tinkering with is how the Reeve system will connect to your car's accelerator pedal. The most likely solution, a special sensor that reads how much you're pressing down, kind of like a tiny foot monitor for your car. 
This info would then be used to control both acceleration and regenerative braking, similar to what happens in fancy hybrid cars already on the road. One thing's for sure though, your regular brakes will still be totally independent, ready to stop on a dime whenever you need them. There's also the issue of reversing. Since the electric motor spins in one direction, it won't be ideal for backing up. The Reef system will likely have a way to automatically shut off the electric motor when you shift into reverse, letting your trusty gas engine take over for those tricky parking maneuvers. Will there be some kind of dash display showing your battery level? Well, for the basic reaver conversion, Burton says, we aren't planning one. Diagnostics may be accessed through your phone, but simplicity is the key here. Speaking of simplicity, Burton emphasized that the reaver system is designed to be a zero footprint retrofit. That means minimal modifications to your car itself. Think of it like adding a Lego set to your engine, mostly bolt-on parts that work seamlessly with your existing system. Burton even has a target list of cars in mind, popular models like Corollas, Accords, Civics, and even a popular BMW. The idea is to make Reaver compatible with a wide range of vehicles, giving as many drivers as possible the chance to join the electric revolution. And how about the installation process? Forget about wrestling with your car in the driveway. Burton and Vision's local mechanic shops are handling the job after receiving Reaver training. Now let's talk about the real point of interest. The price. The target price of a fully loaded Reaver kit, including two electric motors and a 15 kWh battery pack, is set at a jaw-dropping $32,200 with installation. If it works as planned, that's a price tag that could make a lot of car owners do a double take. There's one question lingering though. Will this electric conversion be legal? Burton admits there are some regulatory hurdles to jump over. New laws might be needed to accommodate this kind of technology, and there might be some engineering certification involved. But the good news is, Burton says Reaver might even be able to help car owners navigate these legalities, making the transition to electric driving even smoother. The future's looking bright for Reaver. Burton also mentioned that they filed a patent for their design, which is a smart move to protect their innovative idea. And interestingly, People are already lining up to throw their money at this project. Burton says they've been flooded with requests from potential investors and folks eager to crowdfund Reaver. For now, the top priority is converting the ever-popular Toyota Corolla, but that's just the first step. Burton's got big dreams for Reaver, and he's exploring potential partnerships and directions the company could take. The ultimate goal of the company is an ambitious 1 million car conversions. While the Reaver system will definitely give your car a nice torque boost, Burton emphasizes that performance isn't the main focus. There are safety considerations to take into account before they start exploring the poor man's kig-zeg scenario, a reference to a super-fast car. Safety first, people. The first Reaver kits will be all about keeping things simple, a 15 kW8 battery pack that won't require major surgery on your car. But Burton has his sights set on the future. He envisions a world where drivers can completely ditch the gas engine and go all electric with Reaver. This would involve a larger battery pack and some additional modifications. But thanks to the Reaver system's modular design, it should be way cheaper than your typical full-on electric vehicle conversion. So you could potentially have a fully electric car without breaking the bank. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.